Hi everyone, I'm Jesse at Stropro.com and today I'm going to be showing you the Stropro Single Mount Umbrella Adapter. If you're looking for a really easy way to pack a slim adapter to mount your speed lights and umbrellas, this is the adapter that you want to check out. Let's take a closer look and see what it's all about. So a couple things just right out of the box here that we want to pay attention to. You want to make sure that you remove the adapter. Every single mount adapter comes with this spigot adapter. And I'm going to show you what that's used for in a second. But if you're just pulling it out of the box, trying to put it right on a stand, you're going to notice, hey, that doesn't slide in there without removing that piece. And you don't want to lose it because it is useful to have in your camera bag. Second, you want to make sure that you have the cold shoe and usually that will be installed in there already, but you'll see this little cold shoe with another spigot adapter right there. And then we just have the main body of the adapter. So those three pieces and we're ready to go. So you might be wondering, why would I go with this single mount adapter versus something like the Godox S2 adapter over here? Well, we made this one specifically to be a low profile. You can see how slim this is versus the Godox version over there. So if you're just looking to mount a speed light and modify that with an umbrella, then this is definitely a nice way to go. But if you want to put soft boxes and other modifiers, then you can definitely consider the S2 bracket over here. Otherwise, this thing is just really bulky and I think you'd much prefer the slimmer profile of the umbrella adapter. So let's take a quick look at what this little adapter piece does. Now, with this adapter, you might not have a dedicated light stand. That's okay, you probably have a tripod kicking around and we can use this adapter with that. So what you're gonna do is go to your tripod and remove the tripod plate. This happens to be a video head, you might have a ball head, but either way, you're going to have either a quarter inch or a three eighths inch thread on there and that corresponds to the openings on this little piece. So this happens to be quarter inch, so I'm going to use that, and I'm just going to thread it in there. So once it's threaded in, we can tighten that down, and then we can slide that back into our video head here. Once it's in place, we can take our adapter, and we can drop it right onto that spigot, tighten it down, and now we can use our tripod as a stand. So it's just an extra little piece in there to help give you a little bit more convenience if you don't happen to have a stand dedicated to it. Okay, let's go ahead and mount the adapter to our stand. This will fit any standard stand, so any stand from Stropro, as long as it's got a spigot on it, it's going to fit. So just one thing before we go ahead and do that, you wanna take off the cold shoe and you want to make sure that this is nice and tight. From the box, it might be a little loose, but if that's loose, it's gonna spin around and you could accidentally drop your speed light off there. So make sure it's nice and tight. We'll back that in for right now and just tighten it down. So all I'm going to do is take this thumb screw right here, back it off onto the spigot, tighten it down and it is mounted on there, pretty straightforward. Now we need to take our speed light and get it on there. And one of the things that I like to do is actually take this off. Now, the reason I do that is because I can actually leave this bracket mounted to my speed lights if I'm using them on the go all the time. What I'm going to do is just back off the thumb screw on the cold shoe, and that's expanding that piece out and that allows us to slide that in there. So I'm just going to slide it in until it's flush. And your speed light is going to have some kind of lock on it, and that's no problem. We actually don't even really need the lock on there. You can turn it either way, um, but what's actually locking this in is going to be this screw over here. So we tighten that down nice and secure, making sure that that is not loose and going to slide out. So from there, I could just pull my speed light out of my camera bag really quick, my adapter's already on my stand, and then just drop it in, just like this, tighten it down, and we're good to go. From there, I can control the tilt like that, or the best thing about this is that we have two tilt joints over on the bracket. So I can go on this tilt joint here, back that off, lower it down, or if I wanna shoot straight out like that, and I've also got the secondary one down there, which I'm gonna show you with an umbrella right now. So here's the whole reason why you buy this bracket is to use it with an umbrella, or you could also use it with a brawly box if you want. Both are available at Strobe Pro. Right now I've just grabbed a 33 inch shoot through. This is a very basic umbrella. 
um, but very inexpensive as well. So we're going to just pop the umbrella in and we have a little thumb screw right here and this is controlling the tension on our umbrella. So you'll see a hole over here. We're just going to line the umbrella shaft up with that. If I can see where I'm going, right there. <laughs> and make sure it's backed off and we're going to slide that through. So you might notice a problem right away if we tilt this down. Look at this, the speed light is pointed way up here in the umbrella. That's going to create a problem for you because it's not gonna fill the umbrella evenly. What we want is the actual head of the speed light to be illuminating in the center as much as possible. So that's where this bracket is really nice. What we can do, put that back in the vertical position and we can take this top mount here and loosen that off and lower it down. So from there, we're in the center and I can see maybe that's a little too close for a shoot through. So I'm gonna back the umbrella out a little bit here, which is really nice. I can control the depth of that umbrella shaft. But now you're wondering, okay, that's great. I tilted it there, it's in line with the shaft, but now how do I tilt it up and down? That's where our secondary joint comes in. So we loosen this one off and that's how we can control tilt up, down, wherever we want, lock it into position and it's secured there. Now the great thing about this bracket is it's full metal. There's nothing worse than having a plastic bracket that chews through gears or it's, you know, you're putting a $300 or $400 speed light on there and it's got the possibility of cracking and breaking and falling off. This whole thing is metal. You're not gonna have to worry about it. It's gonna last you a long time. It can take some abuse in your bag, carrying it around, banging against stands. You really don't have to worry about it. But that's really as simple as it is, guys. Uh, you can adjust from there. We can still use this head on here just to fine tune if we want to get it as close as possible. Um, and then again, just the tilt, adjust up or down, just like that. So there you have it guys, that's everything you need to know about the Strobe Pro Single Mount Umbrella Adapter. An easy way to put a speed light onto a stand and put an umbrella or a brawly box, anything essentially with an umbrella shaft through there to modify your light. It's slim, it's convenient to carry, and it's very inexpensive. So check it out at Strobe Pro, and until next time, I'm Jesse, and enjoy creating.